Hello, welcome to Xander's exciting Sahara saga, a tale of two friends. In a lush, green valley of Ireland, there lived an adventurous Irish doodle named Xander. His curly russet coat and curious eyes set him apart from other dogs content with chasing butterflies in meadows. Xander's best friend was an unusual pink and yellow salamander aptly named Pink and Yellows. Together, they dreamed of exploring exotic lands far beyond their emerald hills. One rainy afternoon, as they lounged by an open window watching a nature documentary, the narrator's words sparked their imagination. The Sahara, Earth's largest hot desert, is home to unique species adapted to extreme heat and aridity. Xander's ears perked up. Pink and yellows, he barked excitedly, his tail wagging, what if we went there? We could be real desert explorers. Pink and yellows blinked nervously. But Xander, it's so hot and dry there. We don't know anything about surviving in the desert. That's what makes it an adventure. Xander replied, his eyes gleaming. We'll learn as we go. After weeks of planning and packing lightweight, breathable gear, our unlikely heroes set off on their journey. They flew over vast seas and lush forests until finally, they arrived at the edge of the Sahara. As they stepped onto the hot sand, the scorching heat hit them like a blast from an oven. Wow, Pink and Yellows exclaimed, his skin already feeling dry, it's like walking into a sauna. Xander nodded, panting slightly in the dry air. The Sahara has long, hot days and cool nights. It's a challenging place to live. Their first test came when they encountered a vast sea of sand dunes. How will we cross without getting lost? Pink and Yellows wondered aloud. Suddenly, they spotted a fennec fox with enormous ears perched atop a nearby dune. Xander's face lit up. Let's ask for guidance. The fennec fox, with its keen hearing and wisdom of the desert, agreed to be their guide. Welcome to the Sahara, she yipped softly. I'm Professor Sand Whisper. I'll show you our remarkable home, but be prepared for challenges. As they ventured across the desert, Professor Sand Whisper taught them about the unique adaptations of Saharan animals. They watched a jerboa, its long hind legs propelling it across the sand in giant leaps. Look at those legs and large ears, Professor Sand Whisper explained. They helped the jerboa move quickly and stay cool in the heat. Their journey took an exciting turn when they encountered a small herd of dromedary camels. Xander and Pink and Yellows marveled at their long eyelashes and humps full of fat. Camels are perfectly adapted to life in the desert, Professor Sandwhisper said. Their humps store fat for energy, and they can go days without water. As night fell, they experienced the desert's transformation under a canopy of stars. The sky glittered with countless lights, leaving them in awe of the clear desert night. Their ultimate test came during a sudden, intense sandstorm. Saharan storms can be dangerous, Professor Sand Whisper warned as hot winds whipped sand around them. They found shelter behind a large rock formation, huddling together to avoid the stinging sand. On their final day, they reached an oasis, watching in amazement as desert wildlife gathered around the life-giving water. As they prepared to leave, Xander and Pink and Yellows realized how much they'd learned. They'd seen the incredible adaptations of desert life, from tiny scarab beetles rolling dung balls to majestic Barbary sheep navigating rocky outcrops. We came as visitors, Xander said, his voice full of wonder, but we're leaving as friends of the desert. Pink and Yellows nodded, no longer bothered by the dry heat. We'll share what we've learned with everyone back home. The Sahara needs all the friends it can get. As they flew home, Xander and Pink and Yellows knew their adventure had changed them forever. They had embarked on a journey as curious explorers and returned as heroes, ready to inspire others to protect the vast and beautiful Sahara Desert. Their greatest adventure, they realized, was just beginning, the lifelong quest to share their love for nature and inspire others to protect our planet's most precious and vulnerable ecosystems. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures. Questions for deeper learning. 1. Compare and contrast the adaptations of the jerboa and the camel to desert life. How do these adaptations help them survive in their environment? NGSS, LS4.C, Adaptation. 
2. In the story, Xander and Pink and Yellows experience a sandstorm. Describe how this weather event might affect the desert ecosystem and its inhabitants. NGSS, ESS2.D, Weather and Climate, Common Core, CCSS.ELA, Literacy.RI.4.3, Explain Events in Scientific or Technical Text. 3. Throughout their journey, Xander and Pink and Yellows learn about various desert animals. Choose one animal from the story and explain how its physical characteristics help it survive in the desert environment. Use specific details from the text to support your answer. NGSS, LS1.A, Structure and Function, Common Core, CCSS.ELA, Literacy.RI.4.1, Refer to details and examples in a text. 4. The story mentions that the Sahara Desert transforms at night. Based on what you've learned about deserts, explain why desert temperatures can drop significantly at night, and how this affects the behavior of desert animals. NGSS, ESS2.D, Weather and Climate, Common Core, CCSS.ELA, Literacy.RI.4.7, Interpret information presented visually, orally, or quantitatively. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time. This adventure was written by Dr. Siegfried Howell.